Please note that this is my personal story and it does not aim to pressure anyone else into sharing their personal information if it is not their desire to do so. If you have any comments, please keep them respectful. So what I get paid as a graduate geohydrologist is... And we'll grow in number Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome to Adulting Ever You with Ruhudile. Please click the subscribe button to join my Adulting Ever You family. So as you've seen, the title of this video is how much I get paid as a graduate geohydrologist, water sciences graduate. I have a BSc in geology from the University of Pretoria, a BSc Honours in Geohydrology from the University of the Free State and a Master of Science in Geohydrology from the University of the Free State. So um, I just got my, my, I finished my MSc last year and I just got my results in 2022 and I've passed so officially have my Masters. So the big question is how much do I get paid? <laughs> how much do I get paid as someone with no experience in my field um, I'm, I'm a fresh graduate fresh 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 and with all of this knowledge with all of these qualifications how much do I get paid so if you watched my my empty house tour you will have seen that I did say that I, I have the opportunity to be an intern, a graduate at um, a company in Matadiele, like an environmental company in Matadiele. So yeah, so I'm part of this um, program by the Water Research Commission and I'm one of their water sciences graduates. So I've been placed um, at a local company that's local to me, so close to where I'm from. Um, yeah, so that's that's the program I'm part of. It's it's a water sciences graduate program by the Water Research Commission, like I just said. And this program is really interesting. It its aim is to give um, graduates the opportunity to gain work experience because that's the one thing that we struggle with is getting work experience especially when you're fresh out of university a lot of companies want one to two years of experience and you wonder where will i even get that one year no one is willing to give us even a year's worth of experience so this program by the wrc is so so amazing um yeah so I, they don't really look at whether you have a masters they don't pay according to qualification they just pay everyone the same amount it's nothing like the other programs that the government has that you know if you have a degree or a diploma you get this amount if you have an honors you have a masters you have a phd the that scale <laughs> it doesn't come into play here so what i get paid as a graduate geohydrologist is three thousand 960 so it's actually 4,000 rands a month but 60 rand goes towards my UIF so it's so I only get 3,960 however I do have benefits <laughs> so I get paid but I also have benefits um, a big benefit that I do get is that I had to move to 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 be able to work here so I had I, I got a relocation amount i get um like a little topping so you can get up to 1700 rands a month for rent and things like that so if you're renting somewhere they can top up your 4000 by 1700 so i also get that and i also got like a 500 rand relocation fee like transport you know relocating isn't cheap so yeah so in a month I get paid 
I'm not gonna do the maths, but in a month I get paid 3,960 plus my 1,700 rand that goes towards my rent. The reason I wanted to film this video is because I've seen this 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 being spoken about a lot on social media, you know, um, starting from the bottom. Is there a problem with earning this much? Like, should you accept it? Should you not accept it? I think it depends on where you live also. Um, I live in a small town, so I know most of my money goes towards rent, but there aren't any, like, the, like a social life here isn't expensive. It's not like living in Joburg where you want to go to the movies and things like that. Here, it's... Well, I'm also a person who's in like the, the natural sciences field. I'm really more of an outdoors person, so live according to your means. I wanted to share this video to show that there are people who have all of these degrees and it shouldn't stop you from grabbing an opportunity if you get an opportunity to, you know, like me. Um, work and start from the bottom and work your way up and it's okay to earn whatever you earn you know it's okay <laughs> you can survive so i wanted to share this video to just show that yeah there's people who have master's degrees and we're getting paid 3960 rands a month and it's not a bad thing and it can be done and it's something that you can work with I also wanted to share this video because this is the beginning of my journey. I'm not going to start off at the top. I don't have a car. I don't have my license yet. yet. But those are some of the requirements that I've seen with other posts. They want me to have my own car, which is unrealistic. But this position, it allows me to be a fresh graduate. It allows me to start from the bottom. It allows me to work my way up to the top. So this is very realistic. And the requirements were not, you know, they weren't discriminatory in any way. So I really, really like this program. Another reason I wanted to share this video is because if you watch, if you subscribe to my channel or if you go through my videos, you'll see I have spoken about companies asking us at interviews, like how much, how much you want to earn. So <laughs> I just wanted to put it out there that as a graduate geologist, geohydrologist you can earn 3,900 rands and you can survive um, and I just wanted to put it out there because there's such a like people don't talk about money <laughs> people don't talk about money people hide how much they make I don't know why that is I'm really proud of whatever I'm making I'm really proud I'm really happy to make however much I'm making and the day I make more I'll tell you about it but you'll know that I started off here and I've worked my way to the next point but I also wanted to share this video just to get the number out there you know that this is what some graduates are being paid and you know maybe you'll compare it to what you're being paid or maybe you'll be able to answer that question better in an interview because now maybe you'll think that oh okay if she's getting paid 4,000 rands and she's spoken about things like oh okay take into consideration where you live and you look at where the post is maybe if you're in Joburg maybe you'll ask for 8,000 rands a month maybe I'm just saying but you'll know that there's people who are getting less and they live in like smaller towns and because um, cost of living wherever you're gonna be is higher then you should ask for a higher amount but don't go so high that it's crazy for them and they're just like mm -mm. So I wanted to get this conversation out there and hopefully it inspires other people to be, you know, transparent about what they earn if they want to, it's up to them. I also wanted to just share this video because I won't earn 3,960 rands forever. I'm going to get somewhere. <laughs> and the day I do, I'll share it with you guys so that you can see the journey and I hope it inspires other people that like whatever you're earning you can always get somewhere i'm not somewhere yet but i am where i am and yeah that's how much i earn as a graduate geohydrologist if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up or if you have anything else to say or to add or to ask please leave it in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye